uh, we don't have a border with the countries that we can sell directly. Okay, so we have to fly somewhere. We have to open our uh, markets abroad. Okay, it means that people need to travel. They need to learn new cultures. Need to uh, uh, fly somewhere, like what we're doing here. Second thing, uh, unfortunately, we are dealing with a um, um, security situation all the time, which is our uh, existence. And uh, this caused our army to try to uh, bring the best ideas in order to protect the country. Okay? Some of it is related to technology. So the, um, of the, one of the main technology units in uh, Israel Actually, people go there and they practice a lot of challenges. And after that, they go and they can start their own business. So, one hand, from one hand in the army, you will find a lot of uh, top-notch technology units that after they graduate, they go to the, um, to the market. They don't need to go to university. They just, just go and start their own business. Okay? Another thing in the army is that uh, people in Israel, when they are 18, they finish high school, they go directly to the army, okay? So they get uh, a responsibility for life of other people very, very fast in their, in their life. Which means that when they finish the army, which is obligatory, at the age of 21, 22 or more, they already, some of them, sort of managed or command uh, a lot of people, sometimes hundreds of people. So they, are, they become real mature, much faster than, relatively than other people which are not going there. So this is like an, a disadvantage uh, that causes an advantage. In general, people in Israel, um, the culture is very open, it's very direct. So people like to take risks, okay? And in order to become a successful entrepreneur and start a business, you need first to take a risk. And then you also need to know that when you fail, you can come up and do it again and again. And you will ask many entrepreneurs, in, including our founders in Wix, already started a couple of businesses, failed and started all over until they succeeded. Okay, so this is a very uh, core asset of a person or for people that wish to succeed. They know that they can learn from their uh, fails. This is Innovation Center. It's not only R&D, we have customer solution, we have data, uh, data scientists, business analysts, UX designers, product people. It's a, it's a full blown uh, uh, center uh, of, of talent people. I think that if you'll go and ask the people here, you will see that all of them think that they're part of big, good company, doing uh, very good things. Um, we don't treat people as only programmers, we treat them as human beings, first of all. In order to get to our company, we look a lot on the personality of the person, okay, in the selection criteria. It could be a very strong person on the uh, uh, development, but if he's not a, a, a person with the DNA of the company, he will not enter, okay? So we take people that actually fit to our DNA. Actually, in Israel, we start now a program to educate people, even uh, small children in kindergarten and first grades, how to program. We believe that this is something uh, that if many people would know, it will grow the economy, after all, and make a big change. It's not just, first of all, second language. English is taught from kindergarten, from first grade. This is, by the way, one of the things that in Ukraine must be improved. Okay, English must be improved. Uh, I think the education level here is very strong. People uh, go uh, to school and go to uh, their degree and second and fourth. But I don't, I'm not sure that they know what to study when they just finish their high school. Okay, they're just going to study because they need to go to study. Nobody told them exactly how to plan their career and what is the good uh, uh, place of work later on. Okay, so you'll find many people working in different um, uh, different places with different degrees. In Israel, um, it's a little bit different. Most of the people uh, they will practice again after the army. They are more mature. They go to university at the age of 24, 25 for the first degree, 
and then uh, they already came from how let's say from their uh, family they were lawyers or they were accountants or they, so most of the time they will go and they will already know about this uh, profession before they study okay so they have more um, ideas what to select so there are many different programs there's private programs like incubators like uh, for example in a private college I, uh, interdiscipline center idc they have their own program called zell which is a program for startups and from uh, each year the students come with ideas and you can see from the all the ideas two of them will become companies and will be will get investment so it's starting from very basic okay also in the government level you will find support and the, again incubators and other programs of the for IT for companies that would come with innovative ideas uh, they can get funding from the government for that okay so it's a it's a big cycle of uh, a big ecosystem of, uh, of technology that is supported from uh, private investments and government investments First of all, the main difference is that in Ukraine you will find more service companies and in Israel you will find more product companies. Okay? In Israel the core is product, so you will find product companies in internet like Wix or in gaming or uh, in automation or artificial intelligence. Okay? Many different startups from basic age, uh, phase of two people to very big companies like Wix of 2,000 people. Okay. And in Ukraine it's different because the majority of the market is built on uh, service companies. Those companies are big successful companies but they're giving services to another. They take the advantage of being uh, uh, relatively cheap compared to their client home okay? and therefore uh, that's the model. When we came to Ukraine we didn't come from the price perspective we came because we thought uh, we can find a very strong talent people here of course if it's uh, more uh, beneficial on the economy level that's good but that's not the first reason when, when we decided to come here it really depend on the uh, um, in Israel most people in the iTech they know each other okay for example I know many people in even in uh, companies that compete with us Okay, and so are uh, other managers in the company. We talk a lot, we share a lot, we try not to steal employees from each other. Okay, sometimes it, it works, sometimes not. Uh, for example, I can tell you that in Israel, many um, global US companies came in. So they opened centers like Facebook, Google, Amazon are planning to open. We don't know how it will impact the, uh, the community. I mean, eventually my friend can work for Amazon in the US, right? So we don't know. And naturally, uh, because of the culture, people are sharing and are very open to share ideas. To, uh, they don't af they're not afraid that people will steal their ideas. Okay, they share. When you share with someone, it will share back with you. Boaz in Bal from Wix, wishing you good luck. <laughs>